Hey guys, how's it all going and welcome, welcome. Guys, this video, what did I title it? Um, Astros Whisper. Or something like that. Um, I'm going to be chatting a bit about Astros, who by the way, just is, is superb. She's amazing, okay? Um, but I don't want to... It's, it's quite a few teachings. It's like, I want to tell you a bit more about Astro. And also, there are undertones of teachings in you. So, I think maybe, um, you watch this video, perhaps take notes even. Because it's still a teaching, it's not just about Astroth, even though that's where I derived this idea from, okay? To, to share with you guys. So, um, it's got has to do with tone, just keep that in mind. Tone and vibration it plays a big part in what I'm trying to get across here, okay, guys? So, before I get into the vid, guys, again, as usual, um, if you like the vid, <laughs> show the likes, share the vid, guys. You never know who needs to hear this type of teaching and information, knowing it's out there. Yes, I'm a spellcaster uh, for invocation tarot readings, um, consultations where we can discuss your case or where we do one-on-one -on -one teachings, one-on-one -on -one healings. Um, and, uh, and of course, I have a Chaos Magic course out there with Indica Pieces. And if you have any like um, topics you'd like to touch on a bit more, hit me up. And again, keep in mind, guys, when it comes to something you want to learn more of and deeper, that predominantly takes place in my consultations, okay, which I offer via Skype. So... Um, on the wisp of Astaroth, right, and this is, I'm so grateful for this experience because I know it, it was a personal experience for me and I want to share it with you guys because it's a teaching in it. I think it's a very powerful teaching as well. So, I generally, um, in invocation, have um, somewhat the same tone you will hear now, the same voice, and oftentimes it, it, it will fluctuate to a deeper voice, more chest orientated, but like really deeper sometimes a lot slower and sometimes even musical okay and if that happens guys or if your body starts move i always encourage you to go with it don't resist it don't start questioning your mind forget the mind in vocation okay so my tone is generally the same as what i'm saying sometimes it'll get louder like much louder when i'm feeling something and i have to go it's like i automatically the pit of my stomach automatically knows dude go louder go bigger and i'll go with it you know and I'll get these amazing responses and teachings and lessons. And um, the spells will come alive as such. But then I learned with Astaroth. The power and stillness. I was doing invocation with her. And I do have a good relationship with her. Which I'm grateful for. Um, she she just showed me in, in invocation. She, the stillness. Her presence was still there. Everything just slowed down a bit. And this whisper. Just whisper, I'm here, just whisper. I, I don't know if it sounds cheesy to you guys, but I immediately dropped tone, dropped volume, and I just whispered. And that's because I was whispering, the mind, the soul, the spirit, everything aligned behind that whisper. And the words dropped as well. I don't know if that makes sense. The words dropped to a more gentle tone. I am always offering an adoration, which genuinely comes from the heart, but just because I dropped to a whisper, because she was whispering back, my tone and my vocabulary changed to a more loving tone, you know, beautifying her, glorifying her beauty and her feminine nature. And in working that, I started to see and learn a lot more and felt a completely different energy. Normally it's a rush of fiery energy, but I felt this like calm in waters, but still very deep and very powerful. And I carried on with my invocation and spell work and I started seeing great new results just because I dropped my tone to match her tone, which in this case was a more gentle, calm, loving tone. And I carried on my work with her. So in that teaching, guys, I encourage you that if you feel a tone fluctuating within you, whether to go slower or faster or louder or deeper or to a whisper like in my experience, I encourage you, don't fight these things. Don't overthink it. Truly just go with it, flow, listen with the mind. Listen with the soul. That's why the eyes are closed during invocation. So that it can cut off that sense. So it can open up your other more important senses. Listen, feel, and go with it. That's what I encourage you to do right now, guys. Um, I hope that truly taught one or two of you at least, guys. And again, if you need any of my services, simply send me an email. I will get back. 